Hello, I'm Jackie Cannon. It's Wednesday, November 13th. Here's a look at the top stories from your trusted local news source. Iowa Republican state lawmakers have voted to keep their key leaders in both the state House and Senate. Republican Representative Pat Grassley will return as House Speaker, a position he's held since 2019. In the Iowa State Senate, Republican Senator Jack Whitmer will serve again as Senate Majority Leader. He's been the leader of the chamber since 2018. It's a big day in the race for Iowa's first congressional district. Several counties in the district will complete their canvas, giving us a clearer picture of the race. As of this morning, Republican Representative Marionette Miller Meeks is ahead of Democrat Christina Bohannon by around 730 votes. Once the canvas is completed, candidates can ask for a recount. The deadline to request a recount for counties who did their canvas Tuesday is on Friday. For counties who will canvass Wednesday, the deadline to request a recount is Monday. The Lynn County Auditor's Office says it may take some time before absentee ballots are listed as counted online. A tracker is available on the Iowa Secretary of State's website, but the Lynn County Auditor says the process of certifying and closing an election can take up to six weeks. Until then, the status of absentee ballots will not say counted. It will only display if a ballot has been rejected. Deputies have identified the driver killed in a rollover crash northeast of Waterloo. Blackhawk County deputies say Lyle Evans of Fairbank was found dead inside the SUV late Monday night. Evans was the only person inside the vehicle. There are lane closures happening today that could impact your commute. Starting today, 33rd Avenue Southwest in Cedar Rapids will be reduced to one lane in each direction between the north and southbound I-380 ramps. Both I-380 exit ramps will be closed during construction. The closure is expected to last three days. For all the latest headlines, download the KCRG TV9 News app. You'll get breaking news alerts and can watch stories and newscasts when it's convenient for you. Download the KCRG TV9 News app for free on both iPhone and Android devices.